Now let us search for a favorite hacker, Mr. Hacker Lawyer. Let's enter his name right here. Hit enter on that. And we can see right here, so many amazing tutorials being made available by Mr. Hacker Lloyd. At the same time, let me log in to my account over here, okay? So we have Loy, Liang Yang at gmail.com, click next. All right, let's go ahead and enter a password that we have already saved inside our browser. And if you go to the top right corner, all right, you click under options, you can see right here, all right, under security, you can see logins. Remember logins for site, and you can click under save logins. And here we have the following accounts.google.com, loyliangyang at gmail.com. Dear Hackaloy, would you know whether storing our passwords in the browsers are safe? I can tell you for certainty that they are not safe. And I will show you and demonstrate to you today how we can crack and break those passwords. You definitely want to smash the like button because if you don't, I have a set of very particular skills that I've acquired for a very long period of time. If ethical hacking and penetration testing are the things that you love just like I do, turn on notification and subscribe to the channel so that you can be part of the hacker family. So there's several ways for us to get started. The first way is that we can literally go to Metasploit and we can create a malicious payload and target the machine so that we can then dump out all of those Firefox credentials and do a cracking on it. The second way is that we can physically go and access into the computer, download those files and throw it into say a shared drive, and then after which you'll be able to begin the cracking process of it. So ultimately the goal is to gain access to the machine, to the system, so that we can pull out those critical files and be able to begin the cracking process of them using our computing power. So the first thing I'm going to show you is of course to use Metasploit because it's a lot more cooler to do it this way. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter super user do MSF console and I will go ahead and enter my password for Mr. Loy Liang Yang. And once we are in, we can have the startup of the Metasploit framework. And what we want to do now is to target the machine with a vulnerability. And the reason why we can do this could be because the machine is connected to, say, our fake Wi-Fi. So here, what we can do is that the machine is vulnerable all right, to a particular exploit. So I'll go ahead and use that. So we can enter search. So one of the pro tips here is we can search for all types of exploits. And we are going to use right, Eternal Blue to help us on this. So we search, and then we can enter use. All right, and then we can enter the following, which is use exploit Windows SMB. All right, so in this case, we'll use PSEXEC. So let's go ahead and do a copy on this, right click copy selection. And I can, of course, do a clear. And I can enter use followed by paste selection, hit enter on that. Okay, and what we can do next is to show options. And the good part is we're defaulting over to Windows Meterpreter Reverse TCP. So this gives us a reverse connection back into the system. So you enter show options. And what we need to do now is just go ahead and target the R host, as you can see here. All right. So all you got to do is specify the IP address of the machine. All right. So in this case, 192.168.0.186. All right. Hit enter on that. And all you got to do now is enter exploit. And that's it. All right. In seconds, we are in. Next thing what we want to do is to background the existing session by entering background. All right, and what we want to do now is to use post exploitation modules to help us be able to dump out those incredibly important files. So what we can do now is to go ahead and enter the following, all right, which is use post, all right, multi, followed by slash getter, slash Firefox, underscore crats, hit enter on that, show options, set the session, all right, so we only have one existing session right now, which is one, hit enter on that, and go ahead in three, two, one, and the run. And you can look at the following, all right? And you can see right here, checking for Firefox profile and C drive, users, Loy Liang Yang, app data, roaming, and Mozilla. So you can see the following. We have downloaded certa.db, cookies.sqlite, keytree.db, and logins.json. And we have dumped it over into slash root.msf4 slash root again with all these different details, okay? So now if I jump back over into the Windows machine, you can see right here, we are in the exact same folder. So you can see certa.db, all right? You can see cookies.sqlite and you can see keytree.db and logins.json so i can say for example go ahead and open logins.json with notepad plus plus and you can see the following information right here okay so you can see here we have the login id for hostname accounts.google.com and then we have the form submit url and then we have the username field or which is the identifier and then we have the encrypted username 
All right, as well as the encrypted password here. So the goal for us now is to be able to break open into this. And you can see from here how dangerous it is. If you were to open up your computer, your laptop, in the office, in some cafe, and someone has a physical access to your machine, they could literally copy and paste all these different details, throw it into their internet connected drives, and be able to begin the cracking process of it. Now, going back into Kali Linux, what we need to do now is go ahead and open up all right, a new terminal. And what we need to do now is to go ahead and change back those files naming. All right. So what we can do is to go ahead and say, copy the following file. All right. Do a copy selection. And what I can do now is to rename them. So I can enter move. OK. And I can do a right click, paste the selection. And I can do a, say, for example, all right, dot slash. And I have the hacker loy. All right, loot slash. Okay, so we'll throw them into this particular directory and I will name this as cert8.db. Hit enter on that. All right, let's do a super user do. Okay, so there's a permission. Do not hit enter on that again. Enter the password. Hit enter again. So we have done the movement of the file. All right, the next thing we need to do, of course, is for the rest of the tree file. So let's go ahead and do just that. All right, so let's go ahead and do right click, copy selection, go back over here sudo move I right, do a right click paste the selection and now we'll do a dot slash hacker loy loot all right followed by cookies dot sqlite hit enter on that again and of course the third file okay do a right click copy selection hit back to the earlier terminal sudo move do a right click paste selection all right dot slash again hacker loy loot all right followed by slash key tree dot db all right hit enter on that and the final file now, the final file, which is logins.json. Let's do a right click, copy selection. And now again, sudo move the file, all right, paste selection. And now we can do a dot slash over to hacker loy loot, all right, followed by slash logins.json. The next thing we want to do is to use Firefox decrypt to help us decrypt all of the values inside the files that you saw earlier. So what you can do now is to go ahead, enter locate Firefox underscore decrypt, hit enter on that and see where exactly is this particular file located. So I have it in home Kali desktop. So what I can do now is go ahead and CD over to slash home, all right, slash Kali, slash desktop, can enter LS, and I can see Firefox decrypt. Let's go ahead and move over into the directory here. All right, I can enter LS, and we can see the following, Firefox underscore decrypt.py. So what I can do is enter Python tree, Firefox decrypt, and now we'll target the earlier folder, okay? So what we can do is enter slash, Loy Liang Yang followed by slash hacker Loy Loot slash hit enter in three, two, one. What is the master password for profile? Hit enter. My goodness, are you seeing this right here? The password for Mr. Hacker Loy is Hacker Loy is very smart. In terms of defense, what you need to do is to set an additional use a master password right here. So once you have the master password, it makes it significantly harder for the hackers to be able to break open into your browser's password. So what I can do now is go ahead and enter a new password right for the master password. And then once again, enter another password to re-enter it and click OK on this. All right. Master password successfully changed. So once we have this, I hit back over into Kali Linux. And if I was to do the same attack again, right? You can see the following, okay? I enter run, and you can see right here, okay? We are going through, again, downloading the certa.db, cookies.sqlite, keytree.db, logins.json. So we can go back to another terminal, and what we can do now is to again, go through the whole process of moving the file, right? Just to demonstrate to you how much more difficult it is for us to break open into a password protector, password manager list inside your browser. So let's go ahead and enter sudo move, all right, followed by the pace of the selection, all right? And what we'll do now is to dot slash into hackaloy loot, all right? In this case, all right, cert8.db. And same thing we can do likewise for the following second file, all right, which is the cookies.sqli. Do a copy on the selection. And what we can do now is sudo move once again, paste the selection over here and dot slash hacker loy loot, all right, followed by slash. In this case, will be cookies.sqlite and enter on that. All right, and of course, on the third file, all right, go ahead and do a copy of the selection. Go back over here, sudo move, and then we can do a right click, paste the selection, and then we can enter the all right, dot slash hacker loy loot followed by key tree dot db. Hit enter on that. And finally, the last file over here. So do a right click again, copy selection. And you can always use the shortcut if you want to, which is a lot faster. All right, so I'm doing a demonstration here. So I want to show you exactly what I'm doing on screen. So you can again do sudo move, do a paste selection. All right, and what you can do now is dot slash hacker loy loot. 
all right, followed by the logins.json, all right, CD over into home, Kali, desktop, all right, CD over into Firefox, decrypt, and then what we can do now is to gain Python 3, all right, followed by the file over here, which is Firefox underscore decrypt.py, and then we target slash loy liang yang, followed by slash hacker loy loot slash hit enter in three, two, one, hit enter on that, Master password for profile, hit enter on that again. So now in this case, we have no idea, all right, what is the password protection, which is why you can see the following error. Password decryption failed, password protected by a master password. So there's an additional step that we need to take in order to break open into the master password. And once again, the reason why I'm wearing this color hat is because Hacking is illegal. If you want to do any of these hacking activities, just make sure that you do not get caught. Sorry, I mean, just make sure that you have consent before you run any of these activities. And if you do get caught, do not tell them you know HackerLoy. And if you so decide to tell them you know who is HackerLoy, do let them know HackerLoy wear this color of hat. So we've come to the end of the tutorial and I hope you learned something valuable. And we'll watch every single video that's been released on this YouTube channel so that you can become the ultimate HackerLoy.